Alrighty, stare down time, and IKEA is at it again with the new Hus chargers. And um, of course, they're incredibly cheap. They're coming at uh, six euros for the single port 30 watts, and uh, I think it was nine euros for the 45 watt. That is incredibly cheap, especially when you pair it with the uh, USB C cable, which is really good quality. Um, that it's just three ninety five. So really, um, we're we're basically at the bottom of the barrel here. There's nothing cheaper than this. But are they any good? Um, I'm not gonna review it this the, this time around. Uh, I don't have all the USB C equipment on hand, so I'll just jump straight to the teardown. Um, a little bit of specs now. This is a single port. Um, 30 watts, I actually really like the fact that they uh, bring down all the specs. Uh, I think they do it on both. Yeah, yeah that's that's right here. Um, this, I think it's uh, 22 watts both ports or 45, 45 watts single port, which is uh, actually excellent because you can, you can charge a laptop basically with, uh, with 45 watts. So um, it's actually, it's fairly heavy, but I don't feel... Um, they're, they're not that big, so I don't know what kind of technology they're using. Probably uh, gallium is a bit too expensive, so it's going to be a conventional system. But um, let's begin with the 30 watts, which is probably going to be the simplest. Um, we're going to do an unboxing. How does it come apart? Oh, that's the charger. They actually bundle in some stickers. Uh, I have no idea uh, the reason why. And then uh, manual that, of course, we're not going to read out. So, a uh, very simple construction, uh, plastic uh, unibody this time around, it's not uh, two halves. Um, specifications uh, that are um, engraved, laser etched here. It's it's a single extrusion, it's, um, well, it's fairly robust. I mean, it's not really the most robust charger that I've ever seen, but it's, uh, it's still pretty good. There is, of course, a greenish uh, cover here. This is probably our way of entry. Um, Easy blade. Let's see where we go. Yeah, it's probably uh, ultrasonic. Yeah, it's ultrasonic welded. It's not super strong, actually. So I, I do wonder if um, this may pop out uh, um, unintentionally. Because it seems like it's... Yeah, there we go. So... What we have here, we have the USB-C port, uh, main logic, and I think we already, I already see a problem. This may become a destructive teardown because there is um, goop right here, which is probably holding this um, this board in. And I actually want to use this charger, so um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna um, go ahead and break it, but I'm gonna try it out uh, with, uh, with some pliers and um, see where we go. There's also a nice... Uh, capacitor here for filtering board um the interconnect here i think it's only done through um soldering which may not be the most robust way ever so that 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 might be the, the first failure point i don't think there are pins uh, going through both in fact yeah you can see it right here is just the board going through and just soldered in which is not super uh confidence inspiring we have a big ass uh, switcher MOSFET here, which is probably to enable the output. Um, there's an NTC actually um, labeled here, which is nice. So that's uh, some protection on this connector. So it may have some uh, more intelligence than the um, three euro charger. So that, that's just six. So it's not really, um, if you compare with others, it's not really that expensive. We have a bit of a space here. So let's see if we can pull it, what happens. Well, it's coming out. Okay, um, as expected, um, the uh, prongs are molded in, and here we have some uh, basically matching connectors. I see it's pretty good construction. Uh, there's not much isolation between primary and secondary, which is um, was far more uh, ample on the older models. But uh, at first glance, it still looks... Um, Pretty decent, um, much simpler construction than I thought. Actually, there is just a um, basically mains in bridge rectifier. Um, there is a fuse up top here. I think this is a fuse. It's um, actually a fairly chunky one. Uh, we have some more input protection and filtering. 
uh, main filter cap is right here. It's uh, oh wow, it's rated for 125 uh, degrees, which is um, it's a step above the 105. It's a, it's a cheap, no name brand, so <laughs> the quality is uh, is 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 still um, a bit of a question, but. It's it's not too bad. We also have, I think, another um, kind of a fuse here, maybe a thermal fuse um, or a resettable uh, overcurrent one. And on the back, we have what is probably going to be the charge controller. So um, I'll, I'll dig deeper um, as soon as I start to read the part numbers, and I'll be back in a second. But before that, um, I guess we might as well move to the 45 watt and compare the two. So that's the 30. We're going to look at the 45. There we go. Oop. Similar construction. Again, plastic body. Um, it feels robust enough. Not really the sturdiest, but it's, I don't think you're going to... Oop. It's very slippery, actually. You're not going to break it anytime soon. Um, I'm going to use the same method for cracking inside. This seems to be... Yeah, this seems a bit harder to take apart than the 30. So, they may be um, using a different way of sealing right now. Um, the plastic is not cracking, which is good. Um, but, yeah, it's putting up a bit more of a fight than the other one. Oh, there are clips. I didn't notice that. So, um, they are doing ultrasonic welding. You can see it from the tabs right here. But you also have clips on the side. So, if it's probably... Yeah, there we go. And off it went. So, very similar design. Uh, I really like that they're putting... Um, yeah, it's heatsink compound. Um, it's this white stuff. So they're putting heatsink compound on the bottom of the board and there seems to be a carrier inside. You see this inner plastic thing? Um, this looks like uh, it's a carrier for the entire uh, power supply, which of course it's, it's higher quality. And this is just 10 euros, I think. Um, like if you consider how much it costs, that's, that's way over budget. Yeah, the heatsink compound is very soft. I do wonder if we can pull it off. Yeah. Oh wow, that's that's really nice. That's really nice. We have full-on metal heat sinking with thermal paste, and um, yeah, that's that's a really nice way of doing a forty-five watt charger. This is this will be a destructive teardown if if we open it. But uh, fortunately for us, um, the main charge controller, which is probably the most important thing here, it's uh, immediately accessible here. So. In fact, you can just read the part number. Let me just uh, try and shine some light on it. Yeah, you can see it um, perfectly there. So we may just look at the part number of that. Um, again, it's uh, you have two output capacitor because it can be reconfigured as being both uh, together or just one. And uh, for the input, we have the, basically the same thing. So we have the fuse, the same input capacitors, which I cannot see. The rating, but I, I guess they're going to be 125 also. Uh, again, common mode choke, the main transformer. Seems seems really good. The only thing is that I don't know if this um, heat sink here it's grounded or if it's just uh, if it's just floating, because I don't see where it would be connected for grounding. And I also, which may be um, the only negative that I see, there is no protection between the heat sink and the PCB. Uh, I don't see anything inside here and there's just the, the thermal paste. So if you're going to smack it really hard and, and bend the metal, um, this may cause a short. Um, but the, the, the plastic case, yeah, you, you see it's, it's fairly flexible. Uh, so there is actually this risk. Um, I, I, it's weird that they didn't uh, think of that because I would, ex would expect some isolation. There probably is, and of course you have the thermal paste, but as you see, it's it's really soft, so it doesn't take much to just uh, scrape some away. But um, 
yeah, these are the new IKEA uh, Hus power adapters, and uh, I totally approve them. I'm actually really impressed with the quality of the device, and if you compare with the price, just like the USB cables, there is literally nothing better. Like if you think about the amount of money that Apple charges you for a set of uh, cables and um, charger to charge your brand new iPhone. This is just as equally as good. Like I have nothing, so far I have nothing wrong to say about it. And I think you can get a set, it's like six euros and free. So like less than 10 euros or just above for a complete set of charger plus cable. And I mean, can't go wrong with that and even like if you want to have a spare charger for your macbook air for example that's just 10 euros uh, rather than like 80 or 60 whatever it's it's unbelievable the price difference between here and uh, other brands and I'm, i'll totally use this to charge up my mac in fact i'm actually going to um get this charger here back together and keep it uh, alongside my Apple Vision Pro. I already have the cable and I'm gonna keep this in the Vision Pro back, uh, bag too. So yeah, those are really nice chargers. Um, I'll just be back with the um, IC breakdown. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in this video or the next one, but yeah, these are the new IKEA Hus chargers and uh, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.